How to cure candida naturally. What is candida? Candida is a type of fungus called yeast. It's naturally present on the skin and the human body, especially in the following areas, mouth, intestines, vagina 1. Candida can overgrow and cause an infection. This can be due to the following. A weakened immune system, an imbalance in the body's bacteria and fungi. The medical term for the infection is candidiasis. The leading cause of candidiasis is the species Candida albicans, however. Other, less common Candida species can have a similar reaction in the body. This article explains candidiasis and some natural methods that may help treat this common fungal infection. What are the symptoms of a Candida infection? Candida infections are the most common fungal infections in humans. To the symptoms of candidiasis vary by the location of the infection. Symptoms of oral candidiasis oral thrush include the following. 1. White patches in the gums, cheeks, tongue, and throat. Pain when eating, redness or soreness in the mouth, reduced taste, a dry, cottony feeling in the mouth. The main symptom of esophageal candidiasis is difficulty swallowing. 1. Symptoms of vaginal candidiasis yeast infection include the following. 4. Vaginal itching, vaginal soreness, vaginal redness, pain or burning when urinating, vaginal discharge with a cottage cheese consistency in severe cases. A candida infection can disseminate. This means it spreads through the bloodstream to multiple major organs, including the following heart, brain, eyes, bones. This is called invasive candidiasis, usually accompanied by fever and chills. What causes infection by Candida albicans? The overgrowth of Candida is influenced by many different factors, such as changes in hormones during your period or pregnancy. 6. Medications that disrupt the natural balance of bacteria and yeasts in your body including antibiotics, oral contraceptives, birth control pills, 6, or corticosteroids, uncontrolled, diabetes 6, cancer 7, human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, nutritional deficiencies, ill-fitting dentures, mandula T, Ricci F, Barbetta B, Boccini M, Amidae A, effect of probiotics on oral candidiasis, a systematic review and meta-analysis, nutrients, impaired immune function, additionally, some foods may fuel candida's growth. Studies have shown the following may speed up candida growth, refined sugars, like glucose, some dairy products. Oral thrush is typically diagnosed by a healthcare provider looking inside the mouth. Esophageal infections are diagnosed by endoscopy. Vaginal yeast infections are diagnosed based on a vaginal lab culture. Antifungal drugs are commonly used as a first-line treatment. They are either topical applied to the skin, or taken by mouth, or given intravenously into a vein. The type of treatment will depend on the location of the infection. Some vaginal infections may be treated with over-the-counter OTC topical medicines, however, all other candida infections typically require prescription medications from a healthcare provider. Here are the recommended treatments for some common candida infections. Oral thrush, for oral thrush, antifungal lozenges or suspensions are applied to the mouth. Eight in more severe cases, an antifungal medicine called defluconfluconazole, is taken by mouth daily for 7 to 14 days. Vaginal yeast infections. For vaginal yeast infections, topical antifungals are applied to the vagina, usually for 7 to 14 days. These topical medicines include the following, clotrimazole, myconazole, nystatin-1. Oral medicines for vaginal yeast infections include the following, a single dose of Fluconazole. Fluconazole every 72 hours for two or three doses in more severe cases.
Are there natural treatments for Candida albicans? The evidence supporting the use of natural remedies for candidiasis generally is weak. Lifestyle changes like the following may lower the risk of candidiasis, though they're unlikely to treat active infections. Diet, restricting foods that can effectively fuel candida growth, like refined sugars and dairy products, may be helpful. Sugar, alcohols like xylitol may prohibit candida growth. Smoking and alcohol cessation, cigarette smoking appears to be linked to the overgrowth of candida, both tobacco and alcohol. Use are predictors of candida infection and the spread of candida to the esophagus. Stress management. Some research suggests stress is a major cause of vaginal yeast infections. Breathing techniques, meditation, and yoga or tai chi exercises may help reduce stress. Sleep hygiene. Candida may overgrow during sleep deprivation or chronic fatigue. To counter this, improve your sleep by creating a positive environment for bedtime, sticking to a routine, and avoiding things like alcohol or computer screen use before sleeping. What supplements can help with candida? Dietary supplements are not regulated like drugs in the United States, meaning the Food and Drug Administration FDA does not approve them for safety and effectiveness before products are marketed. Whenever possible, choose a supplement tested by a trusted third party, such as US Pharmacopeia USP, ConsumerLab.com, or NSF.org. Keep in mind that even if supplements are third party tested, they are not necessarily safe for all or effective in general, therefore, it is important to talk to your healthcare provider about any supplements you plan to take and to ask about any potential interactions with other supplements or medications. None of the following remedies have proven to treat candida on their own, however, they may help support over-the-counter or prescription antifungals your healthcare provider prescribes. They include the following probiotics prebiotics, vitamin D, medium chain triglycerides, other supplements, such as garlic and tea tree oil. Here's a quick rundown of the latest evidence. Probiotics. Probiotics. Probiotics are foods or supplements that contain live microorganisms intended to maintain or improve the good bacteria in your body probiotics include, but are not limited to, the following, Lactobacillus acidophilus, a probiotic bacteria thought to prevent candida overgrowth, Bifidobacterium, another commonly used probiotic strain, vaginal yeast infections, probiotics lower the pH in the vagina and can act as a barrier to yeasts, like candida, according to a review. Probiotics were added to conventional antifungal medicines. They increased the likelihood that a vaginal yeast infection would be cured and not recur within one month. Six researchers confirmed that the quality of evidence for the trials they reviewed was low in one study. Only about 14% of females using a vaginal insert with two probiotic strains had a subsequent yeast infection during the first seven months of probiotic treatment. This was lower than the typical recurrence rate, around 50%. The long-term prognosis of probiotic supplementation for yeast infections has mixed reviews. Oral thrush indenture wearers. Probiotics may benefit people with oral thrush because they decrease the amount of candida. Seven people who wear dentures may see the most significant benefit from probiotic supplementation. A trial of people who wore dentures and harbored candida determined that those supplemented with probiotics had decreased fungus levels and may be less likely to develop thrush. According to another study of denture wearers with candidiasis, a product made of three probiotics for five weeks lowered candidiasis to only 16%. This was compared to 92% of people who used a placebo. Taking probiotics along with the antifungal medicine nystatin has been shown to decrease the 
treatment time of oral thrush by up to a week. Preterm infants. Probiotics may prevent candida from colonizing babies born prematurely. This may prevent fungal sepsis or blood infection, but more clinical research is needed. One trial found that lactobacillus was as effective as nystatin in preventing candidiasis in preterm infants in addition to probiotic supplements. Many yogurts also contain probiotics that could be helpful for candidiasis. National Institutes of Health Probiotics Vitamin D According to a clinical trial, doses of 300 international units U of vitamin D daily may help prevent candidiasis in children with critical illnesses who are on antibiotics, dot to four, medium chain triglycerides MCTs. Medium chain triglycerides MCTs may be beneficial in preventing the growth of candida in the gastrointestinal G tract of preterm infants, dot to five. While candida in healthy infants typically doesn't pose serious problems, preterm babies are more likely to have invasive fungal disease caused by candida. This is due to their weakened immune systems. MCTs as prevention for candidiasis in these susceptible infants have only been studied in very small trials. More data is needed to validate these findings. Other supplements. Other supplements that have been studied for their use in candida include the following garlic, tea tree oil, thyme, grapefruit seed extract, cinnamon, ginger, oregano, peppermint, rosemary 9, putty less, rau rs, majunda b, anil s. Clinical appearance of oral candida infection and therapeutic strategies. Human data is needed to determine what effect, if any, these supplements may have on candida infections. How soon after treatment will I feel better? Most candida infections will resolve within a few days of starting antifungal medications up to date. Vaginal yeast infections beyond the basics. Contact your healthcare provider if you are still experiencing yeast infection symptoms a few days after finishing antifungals. Summary Candida overgrowth is typically treated with antifungal drugs, however, natural remedies may support the treatment of yeast infections and oral thrush. These include the following, changes in diet, stress management, use of probiotics. The evidence supporting supplements for candida infections is weak. Relying on natural remedies alone to treat candidiasis is unlikely to resolve candidiasis. If a candida infection is left untreated, it could spread throughout the body. Appropriate treatment must be started promptly if you decide to try a supplement for candidiasis. It's best to take it in addition to antifungal medicine and only after consulting a healthcare provider.